Hi friends, um, I've been thinking about making this kind of uh, reflections about uh, what key ideas uh, should we be uh, talking with our kids about taking risk and and this came to me because uh, I've been studying the work of Maestro Nassim Nicolas Taleb for uh, from a while and I, I, I have found it uh, fascinating and so deep and it has uh, ex exercised uh, such uh, a big uh, influence in my, in my thought that I wanted to, to make some highlights of some translations of, of his uh, very general and abstract, uh, uh, well, abstract and, 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 and um, um, practical because it is both, but uh, the translation for, for another audience, no? Uh, because uh, it, it is uh, a, a, a huge, uh, a huge w um, a work, and maybe it, for some of us it's a little bit difficult to extract uh, uh, the, the core ideas for parenting, for example, no? Because his work is not for for parenting, but in uh, it's uh, it's uh, built in 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 a, in a much uh, a wider and, and general uh, framework. So, uh, what I'm uh, uh, what I want to do here with you is uh, to share some of what I think it's uh, core ideas uh, we need to talk uh, with our with our kids about risk taking in a fashion of like a cheat sheet for parents uh, as a guidance for, for this. So um, uh, a little bit about me, I'm, I'm a physicist. I made a PhD in applied math uh, in natural resource management, uh, uh, applied physics, and, and I work in what people call complex systems, uh, which means I try to understand not um, very neat, uh, isolated systems in laboratory, but real-world uh, systems uh, for which there are a lot of uh, in interactions and, and and what the systems, uh, how the system behaves, uh, it um, involves uh, the context of its environment, and also this environment and this interaction may evolve in time and uh, there, there are restrictions uh, and so on. So, uh, complex systems try to, to explore some uh, uh, general behaviors of real world systems. No? Uh, and uh, on the other hand, this is like the theoretical part of, of the booklet, uh, but in the, in the other hand, uh, I, I've been uh, I'm at it for, for most of my life, uh, from 1988 to 2005, I practiced uh, monitoring and exploration uh, very intensively. Uh, I made a lot of interesting uh, expeditions, and I uh, and I uh, uh, I studied with uh, with one of the last great explorers in Mexico, uh, Carlos Rangel. Uh, and so I have uh, this um, very precious opportunity of learning about adventure and risk taking from a real practitioner uh, with uh, many years of experience. Uh, and, and, and he shared a lot of, of, of ideas with me and, and we live uh, some uh, very interesting adventures. But maybe the, the, the best adventure for me uh, now is being a dad. Uh, so this booklet is an attempt to making a compendium of some ideas backed both by experience, my experience as uh, explorer and mountaineering, and non-naive science, uh, this, this kind of complex system uh, approach uh, to talk uh, with our kids about risk taking. And the main idea is uh, or uh, at least for me is uh, giving them the message that taking risk is good for them, is good for a society, is the way to live life 
because life is an adventure and an adventure requires uh, risk taking but they sure need to to stay away from uh, from some kind of risks uh, they don't want to fuck with no that's the main idea this is my my personal uh, este website and the the, the first concept uh, in the booklet is nonlinearity uh, nonlinearity means that a small stressor uh, produces a small damage but a medium stressor produce not an incrementally linear uh, damage but a big damage and a big stressor is kaput no uh, so the the response of the systems to the same kind of change in the stressors is not proportional it's it it gets worse very worse uh, uh, with with the with the stressors intensity uh, uh, this translates for example that failing from five uh, centimeters it's uh, pretty much imperceptible for for everyone falling from um, uh, half a meter can be very good for bones for example because bones also require a stressor to produce this kind of uh, uh, osteocenes hormones and, and so on uh, to prevent osteoporosis and to and to be and to be healthy and uh, muscles also need this kind of, of stressors the 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 main idea is uh, very well described in in Nassim's work uh, anti-fragile uh, where he describes how uh, living systems requires uh, stressors to flourish and to keep healthy uh, and so failing badly from a height beyond our heads uh, usually ends in broken bones no and falling from uh, from 10 meters is almost certainly fatal uh, some reference here is uh, in, in terms of non-linearity uh, is this uh, book uh, by Stephen uh, Strogatz the uh, non-linear dynamics and chaos this is uh, somehow technical but if you are into this kind of, of things uh, this is a nice reference so um, the concept number one is non-linearity and lesson number one is don't fall from above your head uh, I actually start think, uh, writing this booklet because my son uh, didn't follow this, uh, this rule and uh, took a, a, a bad uh, fall uh, from, uh, from playground uh, games and broke his, his arm. This, this is actually uh, his x-ray uh, picture you can see here uh, a, a very bad uh, bone breaking. It requires a, sur a surgery and to uh, um, uh, and it was este, uh, it was a very bad uh, injury. Uh, we start we really started playing in these kind of games from uh, from uh, very early uh, in 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 their lives. Uh, I think I've always been walking, playing with them in the in the playground uh, since babies. So they they started to 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 do these risky things uh, very slowly, taking very 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 uh, a small risk at the beginning. Uh, I'm usually uh, always okay. Not there's no such a thing that uh, as always as I will tell you uh, now uh, but I'm usually uh, very near to them uh, supervising but not interfering because uh, what I what I found is that they require some independence uh, and some uh, real uh, uh, real world pavement if they fall they fall and they must uh, feel the pain of bad choices very early because very early that falls are not uh, dangerous uh, but uh, but they but these falls very early not dangerous uh, transmit uh, vital information uh, to the kids so they really learn about risk taking by uh, uh, by taking risk and by committing mistakes 
and paying uh, the consequences. Uh, so we uh, so, uh, not uh, not uh, some uh, so much time ago uh, they were uh, they finished their uh, train uh, training in basketball and he asked to go with his uh, uh, so-called friends uh, to the playground and I I didn't want to go because I was tired I I didn't sleep too much the night before working and I just wanted to go home no. Uh, but I didn't listen to my gods. Uh, I went with the with the kid because the kid is very persuasive, uh, very good things uh, in some aspects, very bad things in other in other aspects. Uh, so I, I I let them go, and this is the kind of, of of friends that push each other to take more risk and more risk and more risk. So he was playing in these uh, in these uh, bar games that are hanging with uh, with chains and and you uh, uh, for you to to do pull-ups uh, but uh, my kid start to swinging and the other kids start to pushing him to to get more speed and more a uh, wide uh, 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 extension of movement so in in some moment he he uh, uh, reached the horizontality uh, and too much speed so he felt and he felt from above his head in an horizontal uh, uh, position and took a very bad uh, fall and he broke his arm. No, uh, so kaput. Uh, uh, so uh, this is the the uh, let's say the the first key key idea about the this booklet nonlinearity and the first rule is don't fall from above your head. So this is the first video I'm going to do about this. Uh, thank you, friends, and hope you you enjoyed this this booklet. Uh, in the in the description of the video is going to to be the link to the entire uh, booklet uh, and the link to buy it if you find it interesting. So thank you.